yesterday night I was praying, spending time with God and the word, and I was praying over a specific situation that I am emotionally tied to. There's quite a few in my life at this point in time, but this one in particular, um, I remember just praying that God would give me the grace to handle it efficiently. I've noticed regarding this situation that it tends to bring me out of not necessarily character, but it tends to um, it just makes me really emotional. I think about it, I get emotional. I I think about it for one second, it starts to immediately pull me into worry. It starts to immediately be used by the enemy to try to lure me into anxiety and all these different things. Okay, specifically worry and anxiety, which neither of those glorify God. Neither of those come from God or rather the Holy Spirit. I had to put y'all on my tripod but um as i was praying i like the holy spirit took over and i said something and when i said this out loud i was like oh my gosh that was so powerful like i i need to put that in my notes and god reminded me of it just now and he said i want you to share this with my children there's so much power in this simple prayer okay and what he had me pray was god i thank you for the grace to maintain my spiritual, mental, and emotional autonomy. Now I want you guys to walk with me and think about what that really means. Autonomy is defined as freedom from external control or influence independence. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Freedom from external control or influence. It is independence. And oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Something that he's highlighting is that when you find yourself struggling with those feelings of anxiety or fear or worry that are brought on by the thought of a particular thing, a particular situation, a particular experience, a particular person, whatever, this is him telling you, okay, by revelation and power of the Holy Spirit, that those things are outside of yourself. They are not for you to take on and make your burden, but that's what the enemy wants you to do, okay, those feelings, right? He doesn't want you, God does not want you to internalize those feelings and make them your identity and allow them, thank you Holy Spirit, give them authority, give them the right to um, keep you in a cycle of negative intrusive thoughts or just shaky achy feelings and all this stuff, okay? The Holy Spirit giving me this prayer is him letting me know and him letting you know that you have the authority, you have the ability to partner with God and by his strength and with the help of his Holy Spirit, which means you have to lean into him and be willing to receive his help okay, his assistance in this. He can pull you into a place where these things do not affect you the way the enemy wants them to or the way that they used to in the past. And then he can help you to stay in that place. And this looks like coming out of agreement with those thoughts, coming out of agreement with those feelings. I remember when I was having an actual conversation with God about this particular situation, I kept saying, like, I would, I would literally talk about it. Like the second I decide to allow the thought to come out of my head and be verbalized through me physically, um, and I would just decide, okay, like instead of me talking to myself in my head or talking to God in my head, let me just talk to him out loud. The second I did that, I started to cry. I started to get like that shaky cry voice, like, and it was just, I was like, God, and I was telling him this out loud. I was like, Lord, like I get so emotional every time I think about this thing. What are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to show me? And so it was so beautiful that during my time with him yesterday evening, he specifically addressed that question through my prayer, right? Through the Holy Spirit speaking through me. And I'm gonna say it again. God, I thank you for the grace to maintain my spiritual, mental, and emotional autonomy. This is essentially you saying, God, I thank you for giving me the ability to partner with you and keep myself, my spirit, my perception of who you've called me to be, of who you say I am, of what you say I can accomplish and achieve in and through you separate from what these external situations or people are stirring up feelings-wise, thought-wise, confidence-wise, whatever. 
okay? Even habits-wise. Sometimes the things that we're involved with, the people we're involved with, the environments that we're in affect the decisions that we make physically, where we start to embrace certain habits that we should not be embracing. We start to do certain things that we should not be doing. We start to go places we should not be going. Your feelings and your thoughts, all right, and the things around you do not control you and your decisions. You have the authority to partner with God, to be in control to the degree that he allows you to be of those things. I pray that makes sense. I pray that blessed y'all as much as it blessed me. I love you, but God loves you so much more. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.